All right, welcome back, everyone. So today we have a problem from the IMO shortlist, which occurs depressingly infrequently given the name of the stream. But you want to find pairs x y such that you have this random divisibility. That's the problem. Okay, so uh, x squared plus x plus y divides x y squared plus y plus. Oh, I already flipped it. X squared y plus x plus y. Um, do I just subtract? I, I, do I just subtract? Is that it? And then it's like x squared. So the y goes away. Yeah, minus x y squared. Minus seven. Okay. So I guess I like. The, the bad case is if x is a lot larger than y, right? Like, if x is a lot larger than y, then the divisibility looks plausible. Um, mm. Wait, why, where did my x go? There's supposed to be an x here, right? Plus x? The seven is so. Why is there a seven there? Wait, how do you do this problem? So if I fix the value of y, then I can do the problem, right? Because is so. Do I just uh, do polynomial division in x? That just seems so heavy-handed. All right, all right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Uh xy plus y squared, and we did subtract once. Uh, so, oh wow, wow, that canceled really well. Uh, so now, now I just get y squared minus seven x. Uh, uh, that's probably too small. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, if I plug in a specific value of y, it's a polynomial in x, so I was like, okay, fine, I'll do it. And then I noticed that the term actually just cancels. Well, okay, that, that, I guess that's the thing you can do. Uh, alright, so... So, um... Now, now you just bash, right? Uh... Because... If... So this is this thing is certainly less than strictly less than this always. So y squared minus seven. On the other hand, seven x is at most like minus seven times this thing in my blood or whatever. So it's like y squared minus seven x is certainly less than x y squared plus y plus seven by like a lot, but it's less than or equal to minus seven times x y squared plus y plus seven. So now there's like six. Diophantines, I guess, to solve. Do I have to do all seven? <laughs> I don't want to do all seven! <laughs> oh, okay, okay, let's just do all seven cases, whatever. It'll be quick. So y squared minus 7x equals 0 is a solution. So I guess that, that just always works. y squared minus 7x plus xy squared plus y plus 7 is... Okay, so we get these six things, right? And are these all linear in x? They're linear in x. So I should just... You know, I should just let k be a letter. <laughs> uh... Okay, fine. Well, let's say k is a letter. 
So k is a number between 0 and 6 inclusive, it positive integer. And if I solve for, there's no quadratic extra anymore, so if I just solve, it tells me x is given exactly by uh, y squared plus k times y plus 7 divided by 7 minus k times y squared. So if y equals 0, I get solutions. If y equals 1, uh, there's not that many solutions, like y equals 1 or 2, if y is k. Okay, so let's just make a list of solutions. I think we're fine. Uh, uh. So xy equals... So k equals 0 has a bunch of solutions. So um, if y is divisible by 7, like 7m, then 7n squared is solution. If for k equals 0, for k equals 1, um, there's only a few things I have to check, right? y equals 1 and not even y equals 2. So if y equals 1 and k equals 1, uh, what do I get? 1 plus 1 plus 7 divided by 7 minus... This is 3 halves, not no good. And y equals 2, k equals 1, 2, 6. Thirteen over three. That's also no good. And for k equals two, y equals one's the only one I need to check. Uh, which gives <laughs> three, one, two, nine. 9 times 2 plus 1 is 19 thirds. Something's off. Yeah, th these are... No, I, I think something's weird, actually, because I'm surprised that none of these are working. There sh there it feels like there should be another solution, and I am just clowning, um, but... Okay, three, four, five, six. Six will definitely leave a solution, right? Because the, the, the drummer is actually... So for k equals six, um, one, eight, six, 49 comma one. Uh, okay. For k equals five, two, eight times five. 41 halves, no good. For k equals 4, 3 on the bottom, 4, 32 plus 3, 11 comma 1 is okay. And for k equals 3, 4 on the bottom, 3, 24 plus 1, 25 quarters, no good. Okay, so is it just those guys? Did I actually get the solution set right? I feel like I definitely made a mistake. <laughs> Because I don't trust myself to do like eight computations like this and not screw up. Did I miss any? <laughs> uh... Well, I actually got it right. All right, <laughs> amazing. Yeah, I thought things were going to get really annoying when a bunch of terms showed up when I subtracted, but it turns out this xy just kind of disappears. Um, yeah, it lines up exactly. Okay, well, that. The clickbait title is working. <laughs> really? Is, is there anyone that's... <laughs> well, see, the thing is, like, for the people who know what that means, right? Um, like they, they're they. First of all, they'll know I'm trolling because no one stream live streams a proof of the Riemann hypothesis, even if they're on crack. Uh, 
and also once they see that like I'm not working on anything that looks I guess this is number theory but like <laughs> you know <laughs> Okay, so... Okay. So, there's a write-up. Pretty simple. Ah! Oh, there are two if and only ifs. Uh, good point. Uh, what is the equation with the k? Uh, it just tells you that x equals y squared over 7. How do you get that? Well, I mean, it's this thing divides this thing, so all I'm doing is letting k be the negative quotient. That's all. You can actually delete this whole sentence, it's just I think if I write it here it's a little clearer that why we should be close to done, because you already promised that this denominator is positive, so there's not many choices. Um, but it, it's just saying like this divides this, so let k be the quotient. Okay. 